Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more. Let's play Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp Blind. The last time we finally defeated Olaf in the Blizzard battle. It took us like four tries. Next up, we're fighting Griff, uh, Grit again in the mission History Lesson. Max seems really chomping at the bit to play on this one. Okay, I don't have a choice. It has to be Max. Alright, well that simplifies my decision making. Old friends clash on the battlefield and old wounds are revealed. Grit looking very edgelordy there. Bring it on, Grit. Looks like a lot of naval action here. Go for it, Nell. Okay, cruisers are strong against subs. I think that's fairly true to life. And cruisers are meant to be good at taking out submarines. Also, air units. So maybe it's like an Aegis cruiser in that respect. Okay, so it's like a forest for the sea. Hundred and thirty five percent damage, that sounds promising. Excellent. Yeah. A trick you say. Really? You can load helicopters on the cruisers. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's anti-air, anti-sub, and it's like a helicarrier. Wow, that's a versatile cruiser. Mel is so pleased about this. Okay, interesting. Now we do go through fuel pretty fast when we're submerged, so I'm not sure I want to submerge immediately. Okay, we don't have any bases, so we got to work with what we have. We do have LSTs, or landers as they're called. Is it the usual victory conditions? Yep. I think it maybe capturing his HQ might be the better way to win this one. We've got a battleship, but of course it's going to be a little handicapped with Max as the CO. Still, can move it a little closer and it'll be able to attack this tank. Boy, both of the missions on which we've had battleships so far, we've uh, <laughs> been using Max, so we haven't really gotten to see them at their full power. Tell you what, go ahead and dive. You two. It's for safety scouting, basically. We won't keep them submerged the entire time given that that will uh, really deplete their fuel very quickly. Maybe land my LSTs here, because I'm not seeing any enemy C units here to take them out, so... Hmm. Let's experiment. Does this work? It absolutely works. That's fantastic.
thinking what to do with this sub. Maybe hold it in reserve. I should probably leave someone behind to guard my uh, my headquarters. All right. Well, we'll see what Grit's got up his sleeve. Maybe if it sits so not well with you, you ought to stop betraying us and fighting for Blue Moon. Reckon I best get started. Going for my landers, huh? I mean, that's a good strategy. If you can do it. Oh no, he found my sub. Okay, that was an even exchange. Interesting. Didn't really seem to get the full benefit of the uh, first strike there. His power's ready, but he didn't use it right away. Okay, looks pretty safe to land here. There we go. Lead the way with a couple medium tanks. Let's take out their sub. And then their cruiser. Wonder how my sub will do against their cruiser when my sub is hurt like this. Well, before that, let's uh, bombard this tank with our battleship. Actually, is this a pointless action? Because that tank isn't really threatening me, is it? Oh well, kinda late to second guess myself now. Alright, sub, show me what you can do. Okay, that, that didn't go so well. Comes. I mean, you can have them, Grit. I don't really care. This isn't that kind of map. I'm gonna hang on to my power for now. Oh! Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to want to use it to take out this tank that's coming for my HQ. That may be advisable. Well, first... Okay. Thought that might be the case. Let's go ahead and use it now. Roll, tanks, roll! Better to use it at a not quite optimal time than to hang on to it forever and never use it at all. That's my way of thinking, anyhow. against uh, this tank with the powered up oh right that doesn't work on the uh the direct fire improvement doesn't work on infantry i forgot about that oof um okay that's all right can i not oh they can't attack each other Interesting. So, 
Unlike real-life cruisers, these cruisers can't attack other sea units. Except submarines, I guess? That seems to be the case. It's not letting me attack that. So they're like... They have multiple specialties, but they're not a generalist. It's, it's interesting. Do I want to take out the tank or the cruiser? Let's go for the cruiser, I think. Actually... Can you do direct fire battleship? You cannot. Fine. Alright, that worked out. Alright, let's scout with the sub. Hmm. You know, that looks pretty vulnerable, I'd have to say. Did my transport helicopter have a... have an infantry in it? Doesn't look like it does, because it doesn't have the little L on it. Let's move back here. Release the transport helicopter. And maybe we'll be able to pick up one of these infantry... Just drop it straight on Grit's HQ here. Oh. Sure is, Grit. Oh, he is bombarding me with something from real far away. Okay, he didn't do too much damage, though. Okay, not not a very eventful turn. He didn't even attack with this, uh, this tank for some reason. Curious. Nice. Wait, what? Pick up this infantry. I'm gonna try this cheeky go around the back and take his HQ strategy from multiple directions. And yeah, I, I don't think I even need to worry about that tank. It's just sitting there. It's not really doing anything. You need to surface before you run out of fuel. You can help with uh, artillery support, do some bombardment from the water. Alright, recon, do your job. Advance the mediums, they're gonna take a pounding as they go. Wherever that... Um, wherever that rocket artillery is that's attacking us. And this is going to be the other angle at which I try to capture his HQ. Might as well go fetch another infantry, perhaps. Though, probably the better play is to leave them behind to defend my HQ, just in case Grit tries the same cheeky strategy I'm trying. Let's attack the transport. Down to one HP, that's what I like to see. Okay. Recon did its job. Recons are fairly useless in normal maps, but on maps with Fog of War, they're pretty handy. An enemy battleship, is it? I think we know what to do about this. Well, 
one HP left. Now let's remember he can extend that attack range, so... There. That's the only thing that's truly safe. Well, I don't know. How, uh... How full is his, um... Meter? Okay, it's full. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I forgot about you. I can pick him up right away. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. Man, this map seems like it was way easier than the previous one. Don't get me all riled up. Okay. I kind of figured he was about to use this. Now thankfully his battleship is nearly dead, so it shouldn't be able to do a ton of damage, I don't think. Guess we're about to find out. Oh, where where are those rocket shots coming from, though? Oh, god. Probably that one forest I can't see. That, that rocket has to be shooting me from here, right? I don't see where else it could possibly be hitting me from. I sunk your battleship. No, where on earth? Where does that rocket... Artillery hitting me from. It's like a stealth rocket. Yeah, I have no clue. Now, oh, what else was I going to do with it, right? It's not safe to move my APC in yet. Fact. There, I need you in here to help provide some bombardment. Low on fuel. Alright, well, we're coming at his headquarters from three different angles. Okay, eventful turn, Brit. You're a man of action. Good. Alright, get in there. It's not up here. Is it hiding in one of these forests down here? And I somehow missed it. There! It's there! How on earth did I not see it there? How much ammo does it have left? Four? I think I'm about to lose this APC, probably. Oh, well, at least I finally found it. 
think it's just about the only thing left that can cause me grief. Oh, you want to target my battleship? Okay. Wow, that was some serious damage. Uh-oh. He's attacking my HQ with an artillery. Oh yeah? Well, I'm capturing your HQ, so what now, punk? That is quite amusing looking. Finally found you. Alright, battleship, return fire. Okay, never mind, get the rockets out of range. I think we've got this one in the bag. Let's go find that artillery that was shooting at us, though. Maybe we can hide in the woods and it won't be able to see... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, we'll get his before he gets ours, so it's fine. Sneaky, sneaky grit. Yeah, nice try. Nice try, but you're one turn too late. Yeah, that map was way easier than the previous one. Barely took us over 20 minutes. Oh, is it time for a squabble between exes? Sure thing. Oh, it's a love triangle. That's the stupidest reason to defect to the enemy army, by the way, Grit. What is this nonsense? No, you can do better than this guy. Go out with me instead. <laughs> okay, the game was quite happy with our performance that time. I was happier with our performance, too. Oh! Interesting, so I have to purchase other COs to use in versus mode. Hey there! Sorry. Hey, it's Sammy! I've been waiting for you! My name's Sammy. I'm the Special Forces Commander. Never mind that Sammy looks maybe 5'3", five, 5'4", five, about 120 pounds, soaking wet. She's in charge of the infantry, because that makes sense. <laughs> Better late than never, right? She's also adorable. Alright, I'm looking forward to using oh, Sammy. Yeah! However, oh, we're not done with the dialogue. Okay, Sammy's debut. That's going to be exciting, but it's going to wait till next episode. First, so we have to go to the shop to purchase Welcome. COs to use outside of campaign mode, huh?
right? Unfortunately, Hachi, my stereo is pretty messed up on my Switch, so that's not going to help me too much. Okay, let's buy Grit. We can't afford him, he's too expensive. Okay, well, we should probably save up for Grit, because he's on, he seems like he's probably one of the better commanders. That, that improvement to the artillery units seems really good, actually. And we'll save the collectibles for last. I mean, obviously we want to buy things like maps and COs before the collectibles, right? Alright, well, it sounds like uh, next episode we finally get to use Sammy. That's going to be fun. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I'll see you then.